Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Investor Financing Podcast, and I'm your host, Bo Eckstein. And on today's show, we're going to talk about lending updates. Uh, this is October 18th. What's going on with the lending world? And and all in all, it's it's flowing right now. I mean, deals are still getting done. I think values are starting to come down in certain markets like Arizona, Las Vegas. I'm seeing house flippers starting to lose money on deals because they were using values of three months ago and, and four months ago. And now values have definitely come down in markets like Oakland, California, and different parts of uh, California, Arizona, Las Vegas. I mean, a lot of markets, Idaho, I heard is getting hit. So we're going to see this in the beginning. The so-called experts were saying we're going to see a, just the transaction slowdown. Well, obviously, we're going to see a transaction slowdown because we went from 2.75 to 7% money, right? So the move up buyers are gone. Uh, people are just going to sit in their house if, if you've refinanced and have low, low uh, rates right now. What I think is going to happen uh, is that we're going to continue to see a price decline. I don't think it's going to be crazy bad like, let's just say 2008, 9, and 10, 11. But I do think we're going to have price adjustments uh, that are substantial, uh, maybe 10 to 20 percent in certain markets. Um, I don't think we're going to see the boatload of, of foreclosures because I think that people have better equity positions right now. But I do see a lot of short sales probably that will come as people bought at the peak of the market with FHA financing. Now they're re relocating because of a job. Well, what, what are their options? They can lease it out and lose money potentially, or they could do a short sale. So it's probably an opportunity for investors to buy properties with creative financing also. So you got to look at the pros and cons. I think that uh, there's definitely going to be some opportunities for people that are ready to acquire properties over the next six to nine months. Um, so from that standpoint, it looks uh, like there'll be some, uh, some good opportunities, I guess, repeating myself. Um, but what I see with happening with the lending market is that we're going to see probably uh, some substantial tightening with guidelines. So over the last, I don't know, eight years, this whole business purpose or non QM space really kind of emerged and it's just blowing up, right? Because a lot of people, they can't go full doc. They have too many properties underwriting only 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 using 75% of gross rents they're self-employed borrowers right like it's very difficult to get money then the, the non QM space the DSCR loans came out and um, as long as the property cash flows and your credit scores are good and you put put your down payment down you're getting these deals probably where you're gonna see a lot of stress is that those guidelines will get tighter right so instead of maybe doing a 75% cash out refinance you're getting clipped at 65 or 70 percent, which uh, could could have some major impact, right? And then I think the other other place people are going to get clipped is the flippers and bridge money. They're expecting to sell, then they, you know, prices have come down, and now they're like, okay, well, I'll hold it. Well, now their property's worth 100 grand less, and they can't get they can't pay off. Their hard money loan or or maybe they were planning on getting a bunch of cash out and they're not going to so there's gonna be a lot of stress in that capacity so my kind of guidance advice i guess at this point is probably um pull your cash out now after this recession rates historically go down after recession so i think there'll be opportunities so don't lock yourself into too long of a prepay unless you're getting a really good deal because you probably most likely in the next 24 months will be able to refinance or 36 months. So a lot of times what we're doing right now is we're going into what we call stabilized bridge loans, which are two year terms, interest only payments with no prepayment penalty. So all in all, I think that uh, we're in some uh, rough terrain. I do think prices will continue to decline. I do think there's a ton of opportunity coming for investors that are ready. So uh, it's bad for some and good for others. So it just depends on what side of the fence you're on or what side of the street you're on. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the short episode. I'll see you on the next episode. Hi, this is Bo Eckstein, host of the Investor Financing Podcast. Are you a real estate investor with properties and you're trying to figure out how to refinance or grow your existing real estate business? Need some clarity and a game plan for moving forward? I'm offering a free strategy call where we dive deep on your real estate investing goals. 
I'll help you come up with a strategic finance plan that will help you get to where you want to go. Whether you've got a portfolio of 30 properties or you're starting out with your first property, I have a framework that has helped many investors grow. If you're interested, book a call below in the Calendly link.